Hey, how's it going guys? James here, finishing up my time with the uh, Berry Game Exchange for August 2018. I'm going to make a little bit of a round here before I walk out the door and then I'll share my goodies with you that I grabbed through the day. Here I am with uh, Troy, also known as Canadian Retro. What's going on, man? Uh, not too much. Just checking out the expo. It's pretty fun. What did you find for yourself today? Uh, I got a copy of Mega Man 6 on the NES, which I've been looking for, and I uh, was able to trade and with a little bit of cash get it. So I didn't have a whole lot into it, so it's really good for me. It worked out. Oh, that's perfect. Yeah. And uh, you make any sales, or is it literally just sort of a, a ditch day sort of thing? Yeah, I, I didn't really make any trunk deals today, uh, unfortunately, but uh, you know, other than a trade, that worked out, so it was worth bringing, and uh, definitely worth coming here to check out the show. Oh, that's great. I'm glad to hear of your success getting something that you wanted. Yeah. All right, have a good one, man. You too. All righty, here we are with uh, the one half of the STC Pod Duo. How's it going, bud? Good. Going great. How's it going with you, James? Pretty darn all right. Did you, uh, how'd you do today in terms of sales? Uh, you know, we're doing. We've got some doing going on, a little bit of doing. It's uh, good and uh, yeah, it's okay. Oh, great. <laughs> Did you find anything uh, special for yourself to take? No, on? nothing. Not a thing, nothing. eh? Not the, the deal is to bring money in, not to take money out. So, but I got a lot of stuff at home already, and I'm trying to find uh, like uh, PSVR stuff. Oh, okay. I'm getting into that, so I'm trying to look for that kind of stuff and this kind of retro uh, show. There isn't a lot of it. Yeah, there really isn't any of that right now. Did you see any? I have not seen any at all, no. There isn't even Switch games around. I only saw a small handful, that was it. Yeah, very good. All right, right on. I appreciate you jumping on camera here for now. No problem, have good, good seeing you. Alrighty, another fellow that I walked into here that's a usual face. What's going on there, Ryan? Ah, nothing too much, just on a whole bunch of games here. Well, not super busy, but it's super hot here, so I don't blame people for being too agitated, but still, we're doing okay. Oh, that's, that's great. You end up uh, grabbing any major goodies for yourself that are noteworthy? I got Punisher for the Sega Genesis, just an upgraded label of what I already have, and a few Sega Master System PC Engine titles. Oh, that's great. Now, the sale-wise, you did pretty good too? Uh, not too bad, about 400 plus so far. I'm being Jason, so that's all good. Oh, that's but, all <laughs> that's <laughs> Yeah, matters, so far, right? it's not the end of the day so far, so, so far, so far. <laughs> I said so far a lot, so I realized I got to catch that mistake. But yeah, so far so good. It's all good, man. It's <laughs> it's been a long day. Yeah. Anyways, appreciate you taking the time to say hello to the camera. Uh, thank you, and hi out there, everybody. Alrighty, I'm here with the man himself, Hodge. How's it going? Good, James. How are you doing? I'm doing fantastic. So this is another Barry show in the books. Another one in the books. Yeah, a little bit more time to go, but we're we're winding down now. No, it's a good day though. I really appreciate. Uh, you putting this together for us again. Uh, I'm sure the local community is thrilled with it as well. Oh yeah, I appreciate it. Uh, it was a good show. We had a lot of new vendors, which was nice. So we're expanding and adding more to it with uh, board games and artwork and things like that. So. Oh, that's fantastic. Uh, and I guess, you know, any sort of things that you're looking for yourself or sort of I grabbed? picked up a few things. I got a, a good deal on a Turbo Graphics game and a GameCube game, so that'll be up in one of my upcoming pickup videos. Perfect. Yeah, I was just going to say, I got a little satchel here too, but I'm going to keep that hidden from you as well. Yeah, nice. <laughs> All right, thanks a lot for your time today, Thank man. you for coming, sir. I'm glad you made it. Appreciate it. I'll see you in the, uh, at the next one. See you, James. All right, so that's the Berry Game Exchange. You've seen it on my channel before. 
It's always a great time. I really got to say a big thank you to uh, Nintendo Hodge. I showed up there. I'm waiting in line pretty much 30 seconds right at the back. And he just yells at me from the front. I'm like, all right, so I walk up to the front. He's like, what are you doing in line? Just, just go, just go. I'm like, really? That's, that's, that's awesome. So he basically threw me some nice uh, VIP access skating across the entire line up there. So I truly do appreciate that. That was really awesome. Uh, but let's get right on into the pickups. We got a Double Dragon 3 on the Genesis. This was a deal with uh, Derek, also known as Deej13, on Twitter. Yeah, we kind of came to the conclusion on this that the case adds literally zero value. Um, if you can't tell on the actual camera here, it's missing the plastic sleeve that this uh, paper insert is held on with normally. It's actually taped on with scotch tape. Uh, it's already pretty tattered. So yeah, we came to the conclusion that the case means nothing in this case. Uh, but the cartridge is really nice shape, no torn label or nothing. If I can get this camera to focus. Not too bad. I think we came to a conclusion of about uh, 10 or 15 bucks, something in that area. And uh, yeah, we actually forgot to finish the transaction. This was out in the parking lot. And uh, the following week, he actually came to my place for a charity stream and brought it with him. And we basically just did a swap. He gave me this, I gave him something else in return. And yeah, that was really awesome. So I appreciate that. So yeah, 10, 15, I can't remember what the exact uh, agreement was, but yeah, essentially it was a swap. So it cost me nothing, but this was officially discussed at the show. Next up here, we got uh, Demolition Man on the Genesis. And uh, this is actually in really, really fantastic condition. Uh, and only $5, and you know what? Game in a case for five bucks, I'm not gonna pass that down. Uh, even in crappy condition, I wouldn't pass it down. There's no manual, but the cartridge is absolutely mint. Uh, the insert's mint, it's really nice shape. It even has a little uh, hanging tab. Yeah, so you know what, for five bucks, why wouldn't? Why would I turn that down? Even if it's like a well-known garbage game, I'd still grab it if I don't have it. Alrighty, next up is uh, Art Alive. And I have never seen this before. I was actually a little taken aback. I was like, I don't know what this one is. So I looked it up and the value is virtually nothing. Uh, I think US complete in box, this thing has a value of like seven or eight bucks. The vendor was asking 20 and I was like, nah, bro, I I'm not doing 20 bucks on that as much as it's pretty obscure. So then he's like, okay, well, how about 15? I thought about it, I was like, you know what, bro? I, I'm really not doing 15. I mean, I got 10 bucks cash and I'll give that to you. But other than that, like, I mean, I'll, I'll let it sit. And he ended up just saying, screw it. As much as he even said to me, he had never seen it before. He's like, but he probably knew the value was pretty much not there. Beautiful condition otherwise. So, you know, if this ever does miraculously jump up in value for whatever reason, it's pretty much 100% mint. Uh, but yeah, it's got pretty poor following online. It's basically Mario Paint with, uh, without the mouse, and it's apparently really, really crappy. But for 10 bucks complete in box, why not? Alrighty, these are the, uh, the big ones for me at this show. Three Neo Geo MVS carts. Uh, the total value on these that was being asked was 140 and I hummed and hawed at the table for a little bit. I'm like, you know what, I'm just gonna try it. So I threw the guy an offer. I'm like, give me 10 bucks off of each of them. Give them to me for 110. And he came back with a price of 120 for all three. Is like, well, you know what? They're actually pretty reasonably priced anyways. And we're not dealing with the BS of shipping and any of that. So I decided to break down and just do it. But I rarely ever come across these at a show. So I was like, you know what? I have to grab them. Anyways, let's get on to the first one here. It is Aero Fighters 2. It's uh, got the Japanese label and then it's just written on in pen. But Aero Fighters 2, and as soon as I saw that, I was like, you know what? I, I'd be pretty dumb to pass up on that for uh, a reasonable price. It was only 50 bucks. And, you know, Aero Fighters generally commands a bit more than that. So I said, you know what? I'm going to grab that regardless. Uh, next up here is uh, Samurai Showdown 4. Got the nice uh, North American label on that. Got to say, I'm not the biggest Samurai Showdown fan, but I do enjoy playing them on the, uh, the original hardware, the MVS. They're actually, 
As much as I don't care for the fighting mechanic style of them, they do play quite well. It's just not typically my cup of tea for a fighter. But again, you know what? I rarely ever come across these. And uh, this was 60 bucks. This was the most expensive out of the lot. I thought, you know what? And just do it. Yeah. Alrighty, and the last one here I had zero interest in. But again, because I never come across these and it was actually really cheap, I was like, screw it, I'll just grab it. Uh, so Super Sidekicks 2, and this is a soccer title. Um, I actually haven't tried this one yet, but I will actually be throwing it in probably as soon as I'm done recording this video. And uh, even if I don't care for it, it's a nice one to have around, because when you got family and uh, younger family members and stuff coming over for Thanksgiving and Christmas and that kind of thing, to have a more wide variety of carts that I can just swap in and out of that cabinet as the evening goes on, Maybe other people enjoy this more than I do, but regardless, I'm still gonna give it a shot myself. You know, like I said, I'm not a soccer fan, but why not give it a whirl? Anyways, that is my grabs for the day from the Berry Game Exchange, here for fall of 2018. Thanks for watching, have a good one, and I'll catch you next time.